when she and like I, a BB moment, which is like a beautiful black moment. Did we get any of those in this episode? Black. We have a chaotic five moment of the chaotic five moment. Yeah. And you're watching Black Fi Reality. Black Fi Daddy. And those who love us. <laughs> Hello, you are watching and or listening to Black by Reality, a place for Black by baddies, those who love us. Last week, I took a little bit of a break, so I didn't get to talk about Survivor merge and all that good stuff, but we're back for episode seven called Several. Shady CBS was not going <laughs> to let Jelinski live that down. Love it. <laughs> Yes. And for this episode, I am talking to podcaster Mari Forth. Hi, Mari. Hi, Nicole. I am so glad to be back over here on Black by Reality. Um, talking Survivor, like only you can get me on here talking about this season. So uh, <laughs> I'm glad to be here. Yes, I'm so appreciative because especially for this one. Ooh, ooh. Um, I am going to talk about, I think, more broad strokes. I think that's, we're going to get to the juicy stuff of this episode because there's mm -hmm. just so much of it. Yeah. Off rip. Okay. Off rip. We're going back to tribal after this vote and Venus is like, okay, I got one, one vote and it's soda. Off rip. Off rip. What is that fascination with soda? I truly dislike when people try and figure out like the one vote, like in Big Brother and Survivor, stuff like that. Like doing too much like mm -hmm. that will just make the target bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like being offended by like it's it's a reality TV game. Anybody's anybody's name can get said at any time. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You're not special because your name was written down on a, a parchment. You're still here, aren't you? <laughs> like, it's exactly. not that big of a deal. Exactly. And she knows she's at the bottom. Like, you're not surprised by this. <laughs> right. So what's going on? And again, it's like you are now going after the person who was like trying to work with you. I still don't understand her thinking of like, well, it has to be soda. Yeah. I I, I kind of want to get the like the elephant out of the room right away. Like I tweeted, like I have a very unpopular opinion mm -hmm. about Survivor 46. And I'll, I said, I'll only say it on here. I know a lot of people think it's about the double and how, again, we've had, we have two black people going out on the double, like a, a coincidence or a pattern, whatever. Um, but that's not all I want to talk about. That's not that's not what I mean by my unpopular opinion, to be surprised or to be frank. But we will definitely talk about that. Look at that. That is woof. A yeah. tweet from Gia Worthy who previously- Shout out to Gia. Yes, who was previously on this. I didn't even recognize this trend. But when you show it like this, mm -hmm. it's like, what is going on? But yes, it's not, your controversial opinion is not about this. Because I yes. think, honestly, a lot of people would agree, like, obviously, yes. something's weird going on. So, yes. My, my unpopular opinion is about Venus. First off, I want to shout her out because she is a very good presence online. I will give her that. I think I like that she immediately like tamps down on people trying to come at her cast, her castaways, like her castmates. I think she does a really good job of trying to diffuse the situation. Unfortunately, reality TV fans are just ridiculous. <laughs> They're just wild and they love harassing people and it, and it's so jarring that they love harassing people in the name of other people getting harassed. It It's so ridiculous. Let me just say that. Shout out to her. However, the fascination with her, like the fan level of fascination with her just does not match the skill level that we are seeing on the show. Um, and that's what like really irks me in a sense, because like, and Survivor knows what they're doing. They're giving her this, like, underdog edit, which, okay. But to me, like, an underdog edit is kind of like you're put, you're in an underdog situation 
and it, it's not necessarily your fault. But everything we've seen from Venus, Venus is on the bottom because of herself. It's her. Like, at what point? It's her. <laughs> it's her. Yo, yes. the fact that everyone keeps giving her the same note. Of Thank you. How you come at people and how you're talking to people is wild. We see that yes. example with how she handled the soda situation. It was exactly. uncalled for. She was already talking to soda crazy back at the camp before they merged and was just like, we used to talk. Why aren't you talking to me right now? In what way is that good social strategy? What way is that like t actually making friends? Like it's, exactly, it's wild. And I think I agree. I think it's this. There's a certain part of fandom that wants. Let's let's say it because this is also a queer podcast. Mm -hmm. There are some fans who want to play into oh if the person's mean it doesn't matter mm. if like she looks good or exactly. you know like yeah, it's, it's giving cunt it's giving yeah. cunt honey but if soda just takes an immunity idol from Parvati to pass it around to everyone else then she is a mean bitch. Like you're anti-black. Black women can be cunty too. Yes. And most of the time we're actually seeing Soda being very kind. The reason why Soda is targeted is because people like her. Yeah, that's, that's literally the one reason why she's targeted over Venus in this episode. And, and, and that's what I mean. It's like, it's really like the pretty privilege of it all. It like how like thin, pretty women can get away with murder throw in if they look kind of exotic it's like it it, it very much is exotic not black <laughs> you know mm -hmm. it really is like they can get away with anything and that's what I mean like at first it's kind of like oh maybe she just doesn't get along with her tribe mates but then at the merge more and more people are saying the same thing about her then even in this episode Maria's like the way you spoke to me like I did not appreciate and again maybe this could be editing because uh in a sense of like the editing the underdog story with her is it's what's making people want her Can to we, to i'm sorry mm -hmm. there's several things i want to respond to <laughs> is she getting an underdog story or is she getting a final three zero votes <laughs> editing oh well, well now that's what i'm thinking now i'm that's where i'm at like after this episode i'm yes, like oh they're gonna keep gonna her be around losing finalists no she, one likes yeah. her. So yes. they're going to keep her around. That's always going to be the argument now. Yeah. It, like I'm getting now, especially after this episode, I'm getting that Xander type of edit. Like, but back then when I could not understand, I was like, why are, are they keeping Xander in this game? You know what I'm saying? I, I really was like, let's not let him get to the end. But it's like, they're not... They, with the Xander edit, I felt like they didn't show us how, like, mm -hmm. disrespected that, that, like, people didn't respect him. With Venus, like, we know people don't respect her. Mm -hmm. And uh, she definitely can get farther now because people just don't listen to her. She doesn't have the clout. Um, but, and I just, that's what I just want to say. I'm like, th there's a reason she's in this position. This is yes. not a, a forced position. This is not like a PG situation. This is not like a situation where you're down in numbers at the merge and, and now you have no maneuvering room. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like this is of her, her, of her own doing. And then not mm -hmm. only just how she clearly apparently can't connect with people on the Island, mm -hmm. but even her game sense, it was, is off to me. Like last episode, they're like saying, okay, we're going to get rid of this person instead of you. It's either, it's either you or Mo. And she's like, well, let's get rid of Charlie. It's like, girl, that's she not had I no self-preservation. <laughs> you are supposed to be like Suri. No, it's not Suri. It's Sandra who says mm -hmm. anyone but me. Anyone but me. Mm -hmm. And she does not, <laughs> it's not clicking. She's throwing out. I want women Alliance. No women want to, none of the women are feeling it. Okay. And she's not, really like good at pivoting she's just like everyone else is an idiot for not listening to me and it's like yes you can't you can't you, approach things like that you can't lean on that and i will also respond to the pretty privilege because actually i hate that i hate that mm -hmm. term i hate it too but i feel like it's a thing you don't think it's, it's a thing my thing is 
it's not pretty privilege. It's White it's privilege? racism. Oh. <laughs> it's it's mm-hmm. racism. It's fat phobia. Like we already have mm-hmm. words for everything that we consider mm-hmm. who or who isn't pretty. I think the whole pretty privilege gives like the 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 people when we bring it up, mm-hmm. it it's an easy way to write us off as just jealous. It's like mm. I love my blackness. <laughs> I, mm. I love, I love everything about myself. It's not, it's not jealousy. And even some of the things that we're talking about, I benefit from. I'm a light skinned black woman, you know? Mm-hmm. It's so it's it's very important just to be very specific. Like Soda was bullied off of Twitter. He was because of anti-blackness and fat phobia. Oh, yeah, sudden, definitely simple as that and they want to root and i will give this also to venus she was absolutely attacked for how she looked and painted a certain way giving the whole poverty brush at the beginning that's not her fault but it's just the way the way she decided to move about after that is wild to me Mm -hmm. it's it's a lot of coddling it's a lot of uh wanting to protect and coddle her um, what it feels like from the the fandom, I and mean, it's just like, well, yeah. what are what are we doing here? I thought we we're here to play Survivor and play a game, and if she's not playing the uh, a, a successful game, yeah. why are we pretending that she is? And this ep- episode was even more hilarious, and, yeah. and we'll talk about it later. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah. it's like just say you like her. We exactly. don't have to be Delulu about what she is or isn't doing in the game. Exactly. <laughs> so let's let's now get into the game. Back to this moment. So she's coming at Soda, being like, I know it was you. I was no it was you. Um, I want to say that Godfather <laughs> quote, Fredo. I knew it was you, Fredo. Uh-huh. And Soda <laughs> was like, You need to calm it all the way down, okay? Yeah, because that wasn't me. Charlie is so sweet. <laughs> Charlie, I this was giving Big Brother, but I can't pinpoint who in Big Brother was like. Um, I'm I'm you guys are obviously it, coming um, from from seventeen from uh uh what's the name Haley was it Haley? No, wait, who are you talking about? You're thinking talk- of a girl. I'm talking about someone who came in uh, defense of a black woman, and I'm thinking of maybe the hacker. Um, oh yeah! Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, think- yeah. Haley from Twenty when she was like, "It was me. It wasn't Bailey." Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I got you. I got you. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm getting. I'm like, oof, that was relieving in that moment. It's relieving in when Charlie did it. Now Q's ass. <laughs> It's that oh my god, that was so funny. Like, yes, I agree. I was like, Charlie, like Charlie was very sweet for he was just like he's just like, I want the arguing to stop, which makes me think that that arguing went on for a minute. Yeah, you know and saying? that it was uncomfortable and Venus was doing too much. Yeah, yeah. Cause because Charlie we had to just be like, I'm sorry it was me, you know. And then but and then they didn't show us what her response to him was really. So it was like, exactly. did you have the same smoke for him? Did Probably you apologize not. to Soda? Yeah, like, right. <laughs> give me some. We didn't see any of that. This we don't. Yeah, so we don't know. And then Q comes in like, God, why did you say? Which is true because from a strategic standpoint, I can see why Q is like, dog, mm-hmm. don't straighten that out. Mm-hmm. But from again a comfortable standpoint, I think Charlie being Charlie is is, is just what he's going to do. And Q, shut up. You don't need to. Now you are painting a a, a, a target on you. <laughs> One thing, you know what? I will say this also. Because I, if I have the smoke for Venus, I'm going to have the smoke for Q. Because one thing Q's going to do is pretend like he's running things. Try to tell people what to do. Because he's like, now I have to give Charlie, like, a pun. It wasn't a punishment. You didn't have to do any of that. Exactly. Actually, you don't. Actually, you can calm, calm down, Q. Um, but yeah, little does he know that Nami, Nami's already torn apart and yeah. ready to come at each other. But from his mind, he was like, well, we want infighting over there. They, they have plenty. I, um, Q, Q is what, I guess what Bruce was for everybody last year is for me. Cool. Like, because like, I personally, I've said, I was like, I, I do not, I, he's, he's nice in person, met in person. Great. But I was not rocking with him on the, on the show. Yeah. Um. Uh, and so like I was like um, 
so, but people, you know, people really responded to Bruce. Q is so funny to me because it's like one minute he's like, he's like this, oh, I'm downplaying my, he's just so over the top. I'm downplaying mm-hmm. my strength. Uh, oh, he's the best, debatable. You know, like. Do you he, think he, he threw that competition? No, he claimed. No, his- clearly he did not throw that competition. <laughs> That's why he's so funny to me. And then, and, and then the next second he's like, "I'm gonna go home." Like, I just, I gotta go home. And then two seconds later, he's giving people <laughs> advice. Then he's asking people to play games. Like, then I he's think- telling he's a coach. Yes, <laughs> he too was not a good game player. Like, no. Again, <laughs> shout out to shout out to people. But I mean, like. When you're playing games with people like this and it's all about social strategy and stuff like that, you're not reading the room, sir. Like, because even we saw in this this episode, his closest allies were like, dog, yeah. you cannot be talking to me this way. Like, people have to learn how learn how to read the room when they're when they're talking to people. And like Q and Venus are kind of like two sides of the of the same coin. Absolutely. I will say I like having Q around just for the soul, soul moment of Tiffany. First of all, Tiffany does not, she does not coddle. She says it straight. She's like, you are mad goofy right now. (laughs) (laughs) I do like the three of them, like their dynamics together. It is very funny. And I, and I think Q and I think Q is so used to talking to the two of them mm-hmm. that he 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 he's like talking to other people the same way, and you can't talk to everybody that same way. No, no, like he can't he can't like shift. Nah, it's yeah. it's not going well. Um, we got the challenge off rip, which was yeah. wild. I didn't notice it until someone tweeted. And they were like, "What the heck is going to happen in this episode if we're getting the challenge already?" I well. Really we find we find out that we have split we have split the cast mm-hmm. yellow is maria tevin soda liz charlie and venus purple mm-hmm. is hunter tim q kenzie tiffany and ben the last person to um hold out on either side gets immunity and then the winner is the last person and then that side gets reward so uh kenzie Boom, Kenzie is the one who wins immunity. I was so thrilled for her. And mm. then Maria is the one who held out the long two women immunity. Uh yeah. Uh. This, this is a I I think this was an interesting challenge. It's cool. Um I I actually did like uh how much of the like between challenge stuff they put in there. Yeah. Like, like between Q talking and them trying to <laughs> Them trying to do that game that they couldn't do the game, <laughs> and and then him translating black people for Jeff for what Tim was Tim yes. shouting people out. Yes, it it was it was very fun. It, it you know it was very fun, and yeah. it like again if you're gonna make these episodes an hour and a half, then this is the stuff I want to see. Even Charlie being like man or no not Charlie Hunter being like, oh you really uh, appreciate that those elapsed time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, one thing Hunter gonna do is help the editors transition <laughs> to yeah. a transition. So <laughs> makes sense. I also loved it. I really wanted Tim to make merge because my dream was for the black people to work together, mm-hmm. which we will get to. We got a good cultural moment in this challenge, but mm-hmm. It was not. It was not going to happen. And mm-hmm. so these sides go back to different, um, different camps. Mm-hmm. And Tevin, Tevin's getting to work. He wants to curate the first blind side of the season. Yes, this is interesting to me from Tevin, um, because. All of the things that you could say about Soda can be applied to him. So the fact that he was angling so much to get Soda out here, I'm kind of like, sir, but that's, she's kind of your shield. Exactly. And so I once the she goes, thing. what happens? You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I get, the, so the split tribe thing, it annoys me so much. Um mm. Uh, first and foremost, because we just came out, we've, we've, we've seen, um, 
tribals with six people. We've literally seen it every like every step of the way. They have not had a just a total merge vote at this point. You know what I'm saying? And we're two episodes into the merge. Mm-hmm. Um, I hate smaller tribe dynamic voting because it just encourages grouping. It's less maneuvering. So I, th- that's why everybody loves when they get to merge because it's more people. There's mm-hmm. more more votes up for grabs. There's more tricky things you can do with votes. The the smaller you make the, the pool and the tribes, then th- the less maneuvering people have. And then that's where you're forced into situations where it's just like, well, there's four Nami and two Sega. You know what I'm saying? Like this easily could have just been... Oh, it's Charlie, you know. So I, I I hate dynamics like this. I hate when they break up the the, the tribals like this. Um, then on top of that, the the unfortunate fact that the black like two black people always go home, which is like it's so weird. Um, and it's like Marianne Andrea's speech did nothing <laughs> in forty two. So uh, did you see that tweet where we got where people were saying like after 42 they no longer let the other people see who went home and then now we got that three run that three tribal run of like black people oh. two black people two black, yeah yeah they, wow yeah and honestly like if if you are oblivious to this trend or you're like oh it just happened like that like then you're willfully ignorant because we mm-hmm. went, I went into this episode like this is where my husband always stops watching because he's like all of a sudden all these black people are gone back to back to back I'm good you know what I'm saying and I went into this episode I was like look babe the tribes are 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 split pretty well I don't we might lose maybe just Tim we might lose one person here but and then I was like oh <laughs> it's it's a thing why it's a thing i have no idea do you have a, a a a thought as to why this keeps happening nicole i i have no clue i mean it just replicates society in some ways i guess like big brother They needed to have, like, a purpose, call Mm -hmm. it what it is, to have Mm -hmm. a whole agreement of Mm -hmm. Black people are going to protect each other. And then from there, hopefully, Black people can play a more individual game. I don't know if that Survivor players just don't feel the same mission because we've had Black winners before. Mm -hmm. Um, But... Also, I think there's just a lot of bad gameplay happening on this season. Like, yeah. like you said, Tevin, that was your shield. Like, the same things you were saying about Soda could go easily onto you. Because even when he was like, oh, she just talks, 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 talks. Um, but she isn't blabbing anyone's plans. She's not mm-hmm. throwing out anyone's names. Mm-hmm. So how is she... How is she hurting your game besides just having a good social game? You know, yeah. it's so short sighted. And it's, it's like, I, I hope survivor players in the future learn to like black survivor players in the future, learn to trust each other a little more, learn to see each other's talents as benefits to themselves and not just to them because this is wild. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, we do not feel forced and or obligated to work with each other. I was, I'm glad that there is more of us on a, on the show, like than just one to two that we're normally used to, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So that I don't, that I definitely don't begrudge. Um, and it's, it's, it's just so very peculiar to me that 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 that's a that type of t- type of trend mm-hmm. um but i i definitely think that if if their if their black counterparts are like yeah i think this person going is beneficial to my game then i'm not going to you know I, that's that's how they see it totally you know from an objective standpoint like you said in the tevin and soda case from what we're seeing, that just does not make sense because now you're just opening yourself up to be a bigger target, Tevin. 
Um, on the other side, on the flip tribe, yeah, I don't know if we want to talk about the flip tribe, the flip tri- tribe yet. Yeah, but we can. The- but on the flip side, Tim going out, I actually thought that wasn't that was pretty logical. Like when I saw the when I saw the team breakout br- breakdown. I was like, okay, I could see Tim going, just because he he played he played a bad mm-hmm. played a bad game. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, now would I have gotten rid of Tim there? Probably not. I would have gotten rid of Ben. I think Ben would. People were talking about move. Ben. What happened to that? Exactly. That's the better move. Ben, you have absolutely no working relation with relationship with. Yes, Tim is trying to keep the secret strong, and he thinks he's doing it in a sneaky way. He's not. You can read him like a book. Exactly. Him, get rid of Ben. Ben doesn't even... <laughs> ben bar- <sighs> barely cares about being there. Like, I just... I I don't like this decision from, from the Nami... The um, Yanu yeah. 3 plus Hunter. Yeah. Um, Because then now it's like, what is that signal to the six? You know, like six done? Like... Yeah, like, the six is already so precarious because yeah. if we remember, it was basically pushed on for the other people. It was basically pushed on to them by these three men. I was like, okay. But it, this you mean work. two men because Tim didn't even talk to Maria about the six. <laughs> True. But I'm Maria's sorry, on it now. She, mm-hmm. I think she even mentions the six in this episode. She did, yeah. So, And why wouldn't you? It's just another option. It's a good option. Maria, Maria's doing what Tim should have done. Because Maria has Charlie. That's her number one. Mm-hmm. Tim probably doesn't even know that. She's in this six. Cool. And then she still has, I think, most of Siga. So he should have played more of a low-key situation i still was like "Mm, but i still think you can make this thing with tim work i don't think him throwing out hunter's name multiple time is like a do or die at that very moment but i also kind of get it yeah exactly so like for me it was kind of like i think i truly think the option here is getting rid of ben ben's gonna um if he does make it to the end, people are gonna love him. That whole him getting that close to Ken- Kinsey, who's not yeah. in your six, I'd be a little bit wary about that as well. I think I think Hunter Tevin Q Tiffany, um, like four of the six, mm-hmm. I think it's pretty good and mm-hmm. pretty solid. Um, so they don't have to worry about that. Maybe have Maria Maria Charlie replace. Um, if you have Charlie re- replace him, and it'd be Maria Charlie. Um, Tiffany Q, um, uh, Hunter Tevin. Now that would be a great six. That mm-hmm. would be a great six to, to go. So hopefully they do something like that. But I just I, I don't I don't I don't agree with. I I half agree with the Tim boot. I don't agree with the soda yeah. boot. I love soda, and it's not just because I I, I like her. I just think I I just think like, um. I don't know if Tevin should have should have spearheaded that. Yeah, I don't. But think then so again, either. I don't know. It then again, what they shouldn't have had. Nami shouldn't have given up their control. That's what they shouldn't have done. To be quite honest, they they gave up their positioning to the two Sega and let um, uh, Maria and Charlie dictate who was going home out of uh, out of their Nami group, and they should not have. They shouldn't have done that. Like it was said, yes, messy. Venus versus Soda here. It was messy. Did we did we predict? Did we think like I know they were showing that Nami was like really having eyes for each other, but the way they were just salivating, I guess, for the first mm-hmm. moment to take a shot, because the way they threw each other under the bus so quickly. So Soda, Charlie's shaken because he's the only one on the outs over there. Mm-hmm. But Soda was like, hey, so um we're going to have this plan to vote Venus. Tevin then goes behind her back is saying, actually, it's going to be soda. Charlie's like, I don't know what's happening. Liz, right. Liz is literally laying back lounging. She was like, she's giving the energy of anyone but me. She said, soda. Liz, the millionaire still being there grinds my gears, but whatever. Yeah. So she's on to this Venus. Now, this is also where I'm like, 
Venus, some of you Venus fans are a little Delulu because Venus herself says when she's sitting at the shelter by herself, I don't like being left out of conversations. If you're left out of conversations, you didn't spearhead shit. <laughs> like, like how, how, how can you walk away with that idea? So that's when she then approaches Maria and Maria's like, oh, poor Venus is oblivious. And she's trying to get a footing in the game. Venus throws out that's Kevin's what, yeah, name. Yeah, that's what I was to say. Yeah, it's Kevin. Tevin's name. Now she's switching. Because she was like, yeah, soda. But how about Tevin? And it's like, Tevin, I someone needed to go back to Tevin and tell him that. Did anyone tell him that? I was wondering that too. I was I was hoping. I was like, the moment that Venus said Tevin's name, I was like, please, somebody tell Tevin that Venus said his name. Exactly. So that he can switch this char target back to her. Exactly. Like it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, she throws that out. Maria's like, let me think about it. In the moment when she says, um, I'll think about it, Venus, Venus's ass goes, So you don't want to work with me? This one. <laughs> This is why we got problems. This is why, this we, is why got we got problems. And this is why you're being called out <laughs> for your aggro. Because who does that? You all of a sudden start hard questioning and you don't have leverage. And you don't have a relationship with this woman as far as we know. Yes. And Venus later on was like, oh, well, she, when Maria was like, actually, you went too hard in the paint right there. So take it, take it down a notch. She said, well, Maria probably doesn't want to be told what to do by someone, probably her junior. Probably? That's a grown-ass woman, Venus. What are you talking about? Who wants to be feel feeling like they're being talked down by anybody, let alone, you know... I thought Maria was very respectful here. I think I, I love Maria. I think Mar Maria is a great game player to me. Maria is great. You... Again, mm -hmm. how she handled that game with Jelinski, how I she mean, has Charlie and her and Charlie were making decisions over there. Her maneuvering has been good. I, I know people are, are upset about the gym vote out. I That part I was like, man, but she, you know, it didn't backfire because they went straight to merge and, mm -hmm. and her and Charlie have gotten really lucky in the breakdown. So, mm -hmm. but she's, she's, she's a boss. She's a game player. And I, I don't begrudge her for being like, girl, you have no idea what's going on. We are like on 40 chess and you're over here, like in the sandbox. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she tries to also work on Charlie. Charlie's like, I got to talk to my wife. <laughs> My mm -hmm. wife being Maria. <laughs> Maria's like, absolutely not. Um, and then she also talks about, well, we need to break up Soda and Tevin, and I don't care who. And it's like, okay, girl. <laughs> I just sit back and relax then, I guess. But she's like, oh, we should do a 3-2-1 vote, which does not happen, which again, Venus is not in control of this. <laughs> like, we we need to be so for real right now. Three, two, one. This is I why I don't I don't understand why. I Anyways, Nami, Nami's maneuvering really messed themselves up here because they could have easily gotten a three, two, one. Um, uh, letting Venus vote however she wanted to, having Charlie and Maria vote however they wanted to, and if Tevin, Soda, and Liz stuck together, then they could have um, they could have easily gotten a three, two, one, and they could have gotten anybody they wanted to out at that point. Yeah. Ooh, so let's talk about this moment. We go to Tribal and it's Soda. Um, Soda, oh my God. She handled this with so much grace, even though she like cares so much. She's like crying. Mm -hmm. She's like, this is really hard. You could tell she doesn't want to go to Jeff. But then the first thing she does is look at Venus because Venus has been coming at her neck all the time. Venus is just sitting there smiling like, it was me. It was me. It's like, girl. What? <laughs> in what? what universe? In what universe? And why is this the one like moment of kindness we've seen between them? It's like, oh, you're out. Ah, mm -hmm. We're good friends. And I'm sure they are good friends. This is a game. It's just crazy to me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just shows you like those type of reactions. Like Soda is a, a, a true fan and she understands the dynamics. Like she made it to jury. Uh yeah, they made it to jury at least. So um, she she's not a she you know she's not a sore loser. Mm -hmm. And 
I mean, who else would I if I'm soda, I'm not thinking that Tevin turned on me, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, the vote that even is showed. a credit to Tevin's game, by the exactly. way. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's a huge so, credit. But I thought it was hilarious when Venus, when Venus is sitting there taking credit and Tevin's like, no. Like Tevin Exactly. Mad. And which it, people it, were like, Well, you didn't vote, so you don't get credit. It's like that's not how that's that not how works. it works. <laughs> it's not if how Tevin works. wasn't working. It probably would have been Charlie or something, mm-hmm. but he went to work. <laughs> yeah. And I'm pretty sure he 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 probably um put that vote in there just in case of mm-hmm. like shenanigans, you know. Mm-hmm. Um like it's and even even if it, okay, say Tevin wasn't in on it, this is clearly Maria and Charlie's move too. Shoot. Like Come they're on. the swing votes. Like they're the swing votes. Thank you. Like they have been in charge of multiple votes. Like let's use the evidence and the history that yeah. we have to inform how we got here. Like so, that was that was so cringy to me. I was so I was like, dog, this is. Cringy. I couldn't believe that she took. I would be credit. embarrassed. How are you? I would. How are you not embarrassed that you're taking the credit <laughs> for a move you did not even? Dude, oh. craziness, craziness. So, um, yeah. you know, somebody told her at, at the end, like, oh, we're voting soda, you know, what I'm saying? like, and she probably, she's like, look what I did. It's like, no, the Who whole plan was in motion. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> the whole plan was Ori in motion. Oh <sighs> Maybe we'll get a flashback on next week's episode. Oh, we absolutely, I hope mm-hmm. so. I hope so. I, I, I wonder how Tevin's gonna handle. Her yeah. taking credit for that, because like, you can tell funny. Tevin is like, the, like he's at his wits end with Venus. Absolutely, I was like, are, you better give this black gay man his tens. Like, <laughs> he's let's... at his wits end. Wits end. Um, Venus, is, Venus is probably one of those people that, again, she's fun to watch on TV. Like us as audience members are like, yeah, girl, whatever, go. But like to probably like live with on a day to day basis. Oh, no. No. Mm-hmm. all right. What is the chaotic buy moment of the episode? I'll go first. Mm-hmm. Um, I said it was Tiffany and Kenzie decorating their hair with flowers, as they nonchalantly call Q a sucker. <laughs> Tiffany called. That's what it was. She called Q a sucker. She was like, "If you were falling for what Ben said, you a sucker," and was just shutting his shit all the way down. Mm-hmm. It was. It was really good. It was so good. Uh, I. I. They are so funny to me, and I love how they use that. Uh, they used it as like the commercial thing. Yeah. Like, they're not gonna. They're not gonna turn on Q right now. Not when they. They keep getting this numbers advantage. Nah. Uh, but they're funny. They were just funny. They're like a Stadler and Waldorf. They're like they're like a family crazy. at this point. They're yeah. a family at this point. Q really wants to make moves, and Tiffany's always like big sissing him of like, if you don't sit your ass down somewhere, this is what we're going to do. Kenzie's like, why do you think you're the leader here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I I really think, and I'm really hoping, like the way they set up this Kinsey and Tiffany thing, um, I really hope they like stick it out together. Mm-hmm. But I'm scared. Like I'm scared that we're gonna get like a, a who do you think is it like a Cassie Carla moment or something? I like my 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 thought process would be Kinsey because Kinsey's like easily mm-hmm. like she got the so emotional. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't want to believe that. <laughs> I don't, I know it doesn't make sense with your French vanilla fantasy. I know, but I, I'm, I am scared that I, because... I, I don't, I'm just hoping that they take it as far as they can. Like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. because even with the Cassidy Kenzie of it all, like Cassidy and Kenzie weren't even like cool like that. I mean, Carla really. and Cassidy. Carla. Yeah. What am I saying? You said Kinsey and Cassidy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, yeah. yeah. I don't even think Carla and Cassidy were like that cool like that, which then made it harder after merge when Cassidy was trying to do a girls thing. And mm-hmm. she was like, I've been rocking with my boys for a while now. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. I just, I'm just, I, I don't know. I think it might get, okay. So maybe the better thing is Lindsay and Jonathan. 
of uh, the itch of like, I got to get rid of this person because I need my moves to be, to stand out at, at, for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Something to that effect. But yeah, uh, I, 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 I them to the end together. Yeah. Uh, I guess my chaotic vibe moment is is for, again from Kevin, even though like <laughs> him 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 scrambling to flip the vote on set. I'm like, no, Kevin, stop it, stop it, stop it. Do less, <laughs> do less right now. I love you, but do less. <gasps> and then him rolling his eyes at Tribal was great. It was so good. Yeah. Um, what is the beautiful black moment? I know we talked a lot, a lot oh of what God. hurt us, but what's the beautiful I, black? Moment? The Tim Tim doing the shout outs was so funny yes. to me. Like when he started shouting out his family, I thought I was like, "What are you doing, sir?" <laughs> but then when he started like shouting out like uh, Tevin's, Tevin's, yes. Dad, Maria, like when he started doing that, I was like, "Oh, that's cute." I think that was like a great way to like endear himself to other yeah. people. I did like that. I did like that moment. And again, Q trying to translate over on the bench, and Tim telling him to, to stop talking because he's not in the fight. That exactly. They made they made Jeff chuckle. So <laughs> yes, they sure did. Um, my beautiful black moment, even though it's super super bittersweet. But it was Soda just having a beautiful, graceful exit. And Tevin mm -hmm. saying no, no mm -hmm. <laughs> to Venus's antics. <laughs> like, I was like, that's right. That's right. <laughs> he was so oh. mad. It was so funny. Almost made him come out of his character. But he was like, nah, I got to remain under the surface masterminding. I really hope, like, like I just want a, we just need a straight up merge vote next week. Jeez Louise. Oh my God. The fact that they were talking about how Hunter hasn't voted and we're on episode yeah. seven. And I was like, most of these people have not played Survivor yet. Like, that's crazy. That is, that is like wild. Like, I, I was really sitting there like, why hasn't he voted? Like I was like, and I realized like, oh, they they like never went to tri tribal. Like, it, weird. And I and I keep forgetting that he has the idol. So Hunter has mm -hmm. the idol. Tiffany has the idol, and that's it. We only have two idols because um Jim mm -hmm. Jim went home with the Sega idol. Yeah. Okay, and they haven't replaced that yet. Wait, Jim went home. I guess not because she didn't tell anyone. She didn't tell anyone. She went, yeah, she went home with the Sega idol. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting whenever that'll come back into play. But mm -hmm. yeah, I love it. Hunt, Hunter was very close. He, he said he was considering using it, but I think he just was very confident in his yeah. connections. And Tiffany was saying pretty and it never even came up. And I love that for her. I love that for her too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now we're going into it. Ten people. There'll be ten people. Um, there'll be ten people left. Mm -hmm. That's three. So that's three Yanu still, right? And mm -hmm. we got four Nami still and three Sega, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, Tevin, Hunter, Liz. Venus for for Nami, and then yep, Tevin Hunter, Liz Venus, yep, and then for Sega we have Maria, Charlie, Ben. That's it. Hmm. Oh, you're muted. <laughs> Losing Mo was unexpected for me. I never got to talk I, about that, but I feel bad for her. Yeah. Yeah, she she fought to the end though, and that's what I like. I feel so bad for her because, like, if she had just come out and been like, "Dog, I see a who," like I'm trying to be with y'all. If yeah. she had said that before tribal, it would have saved her. But she was too busy mm -hmm. trying to look Sega strong to help, quote unquote, Sega help her tribe members that literally just messed her over. Mm -hmm. That it sent her home anyways. Like, 
Damn. That that should be a lesson to anybody. Like, <laughs> play for you. Play yes. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oof. Um, any other comments, thoughts about the season so far, this episode? This season, like, I, this is the first season where I'm like, wow, I'm kind of over the cookie cutterness of the modern era. Like, it's like, Mm -hmm. it's no longer novel anymore. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, 41, 42, 43, like, it was still kind of like, oh, we're trying to, we're figuring out these twists. We're figuring out what this new stripped down version of Survivor is. And oh, they're actually starving them now. Like, I don't like this whole not giving them Flint thing. No. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> like, no. Let them eat. Like, I'm fine with it. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Like the first three, it was like, we were trying to figure out what was, you know, what, what the new mechanics were. Yeah. These, these last three, 44, 45, 46, it's like, Okay, so we not only have we figured out the mechanics, but y'all are legit just recycling them over and yep. over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. And it's not fun. None of these twists are fun. Yeah. Like, thank God you got rid of the hourglass. But it's like, yeah, they're, they're and and it's losing individuality for me. Um, mm-hmm. the ca- you know, the cast have been great, the, the cast have been great, but the the individuality of a a lot of the earlier seasons like i get it you guys can't move to more beaches anymore it's just more cost effective to stay in fiji Mm -hmm. but like it's giving it such a monotonous mundane monotone feel to it It, nothing feels special it feels like the same i can tell you're sitting by the same rocks and and stuff like that i love when yeah i do love talking to alumni when they tell us they watch they're like hey that's my tree that i shat by like (laughs) exactly (laughs) that's the wild part to me it's like oh get them out of there get them out of there they're just pooping and like rotating and And then and then now I'm thinking, are y'all just throwing coconuts on the ground? Because there's no way you're shooting like back to back seasons and these like coconuts are just. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, the budget cuts are showing. Yeah. I think that they really lean into, well, we're not giving them any rice and stuff to argue that, no, this game is still very hard. And it's like, why why are the people who are putting their life on hold already living out in the wilderness why do they get to bear the brunt of of this to argue that your game is still like hard you know yeah. it's not yeah. fair and i i agree a lot of it is like we don't want to spend money for themes or any twist or anything and it it's wild it's like it's you're you're taking your foot off the gas a little bit yeah. and then i also feel like okay you're focusing on being more cast centric that's what it's like that's what it feels like to me it's like you're like okay no we want to focus on our cast no villains i still don't i still don't even understand that whole thing that jeff was saying about the no villains i don't mm-hmm. care mm-hmm. um it, but they want it to be more cast focused they're they're um they're casting more fans they're casting more diversity but then you do all of these twists that undermine your casting choices like stop it with the three tribe format Mm -hmm. i am so sick of the three tribe format again like i said when you break groups into smaller sections it's way less voting maneuvering it is just impossible to out uh, maneuver a 42 vote so Mm -hmm. then you have people doing their shot in the darks and who gives a shit about the shot in the dark that's only happened once like i hate hate when they mention like and we have to account for this in the dark you're you're over here making fake idols and smoking ears for because of the shot in the dark The, the one in six chance that again i was wondering i was like did they see caleb's hit right before they yeah did they Oh, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, because you know how they see some of the scene yep. and then so but it was just like this is stupid. So like <laughs> I I want I we need a two a two tribe a two tribe um cast again because like because it, it has never failed in that three tribe uh tribe format, even going back to bef- you know before the this new modern era, mm-hmm. once once you get down like once one or twice, you're just gonna keep losing just because like 
you have mm-hmm. less people with like like less people less skill sets you know stuff like that like we've seen it over and over and over and over again where the tribes get decimated i hate seeing tribes get decimated like it's annoying i hate see i hate seeing yanu go to tribal council like three times in a row or whatever mm-hmm. so we're only seeing them on the beach i have no idea who was on sega you know what I'm saying I barely know people from Yanni, Yam, Nami. Yeah. So it was like, I, I'm sorry, this isn't just me ranting. I, we needed, no. they gotta go back to the two tribe format. It's Please. still, it's Please. still crazy to me where episode seven and Hunter was like, oh yeah, I, I don't actually know what my alliances are because I never voted. These yes. people, Hunter is a diehard fan. Hunter is knocking mm-hmm. down trees Love Hunter. to make obstacle courses Mm -hmm. to replicate the show and you decide to flip the whole format to where he hasn't been to a tribal yet like it's it's not it's not nice to these fans that you and you want to cultivate you're talking all the time of like hey uh, we get new survivor fans every generation and you were probably like born when so-and-so won and now you're here okay like but give them a little bit of the show that they fell in love with don't bait and switch them exactly like so i mean i'm just it's just kind of crazy like i haven't been enjoying this season as much as i normally do it's just mm-hmm. like a little bit of fatigue it's a little bit of like so so what's new like what what is the difference between this cast and last cast and you know um but then again i felt like last season didn't really start getting good until po- post merge too you know what i'm saying because again it's easier and more fun to maneuver like we didn't even get a swap this season you know what i'm saying like yeah before, like, i thought we were gonna get one we didn't even get a swap before Not the merge. down to three people that was crazy I know. <laughs> exactly so it's just like i don't know man i i it mm, you know it I, i'm gonna watch i'm always mm-hmm. gonna watch i'm gonna be here i'm gonna talk to you i'm gonna talk over on rhap mm-hmm. but it's just like something has to give in it and the funny thing about people i think complaining about the modern era is like some people complain about like all this that doesn't matter like the new woke sayings and the no villains and this this and that it's like who cares about that shit let's talk about playing with the fundamentals and how like (laughs) how survivor has just gotten so like away from some of the fundamentals Mm -hmm. um you know but it's whatever yeah. I'm, I'm so glad I got to talk to you, though. That's all that matters. I'm so glad I got to talk to you, too, Mari. Um, where can people follow you? What are you doing next? I know you're constantly podcasting with the Crime Scene Podcast. Yes, yes. So uh, if you haven't already, go follow me on Twitter, at Mari Talks Too Much. That's two, like the number two, if you guys are waiting, holding your breaths to hear my unpopular opinion. I hope it, I hope it was worth it. Uh, thank you, Nicole, for letting me just rant at the end here as well. Um, also over on RHAP. Yes, I am doing a crime scene podcast with Sarah Carradine. Every Tuesday, we bring True Crime Tuesdays to RHAP. Um, with crime scene podcast, you can go to robhasawebsite.com slash crime feed in order to subscribe over there we have some really good stuff uh coming up we just um we just dropped episode 100 featuring featuring latanya um we had a great time talking about uh ta- uh sorry crime scene berlin uh, it, it's a docu-series on netflix that we we really enjoyed so just go check that out um over on the recap kickback me and Chappelle. You know, we're just talking about whatever Chappelle wants to. Nicole, you were over there with us. We talked about Cowboy Carter a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Had so much fun talking about that. Uh, This week, I believe we're dropping our Shirley coverage. We we watched the movie Shirley with Latanya, and um, we're I think we're going to talk about that. And then we got a lot of stuff coming up down the pipeline. It's whatever comes out of Chappelle's brain, and you know, he 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 comes up with it. I help execute. Uh, so you can find us on the Recap <laughs> Kickback or by going to recapkickback.com and subscribing wherever you get your podcast. Um, 
other than that, uh, me and Matt wrestling uh, wrap up. We're about to go on hiatus. We just got back from WrestleMania last weekend. Like we went to WrestleMania. We had so much fun. If you want to hear about our experience at WrestleMania, uh, you can uh, go to our YouTube page. Go to youtube.com slash at wrestling wrap up. That's youtube.com slash at wrestling R-H-A-P-U-P. Um, to hear about a, a very interesting ex- WrestleMania experience. After that, we'll be going on hiatus because I have to go and give birth soon. So, <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, I'm I'm so glad to be here. Thank you again, Nicole, for inviting me. Of course, you're welcome, and thank you for taking your time to be here. Um, mm-hmm. I am Nicole Weaver. I am an entertainment writer. I write for Collider about reality TV. Sounds familiar. Um, Lately, weirdly, Big Brother is back in the news cycle. So writing a little bit about that uh, Mm -hmm. and physical 100, if you feel that. But most Uh, importantly, over on the Black by Reality podcast, I have recently come out with an interview with Darian. Mari, you were on it for the premiere. Uh, Yes, of Thruple to Couple to Thruple. Yes. Mm -hmm. So still talking to some more Couple to Thruple people because I can't get enough of that show. And from what I see with the analytics, y'all can't either. So that's great. (laughs) Yeah. And um, yeah, continuing the Survivor podcast, um, I will actually have Carla Cruz later. Oh, yay. Yeah. She was Carla. She was my big gay fish (laughs) for Survivor. So I'm very excited about that. Um, And yeah, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, we're just going to continue holding out until we get a perfect match premiere date and Big Brother premiere date. Like, yes. It has to be coming soon, but they're like summer. What's summer? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Maybe after Bridgerton. Maybe they don't want. The Bridgerton and Perfect Match going on at the same time. Truly. I literally thought Bridgerton was already out by how many people have already been tweeting. I sat Still there and away. turned on Netflix last Still weekend. <laughs> I can't wait to watch it when I'm on my maternity leave. I'm just oh, that's going to be so good. I know. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, other than that, please follow Black by Reality across all your socials so you can keep up with updates i'm trying to show more personal stuff like the formation of this new background and all of that and uh yeah that's pretty much it bye guys bye bye